Hi friends! Today I have a pin mail video for you. Um, I am going to be talking a little bit about what to do when you feel discouraged, like in your business and in life, because that's something that's been coming up a lot for me and I've had a lot of questions about it, so I thought I would address it in a video. And I'm going to be showing you my new Eda bags. They're in, they're here. Ah, and I wanted you to see them. So I will be showing you those at the end. So stick around. Ooh. Okay, so I haven't been getting a ton of pins lately. I don't know. I feel like this summer has been, I don't know. I have been running around like crazy and trying to run basically three businesses. I have thepinksamurai.com, enamelpins101.com, and I've been trying to up my wholesale game, so, and still all doing it part-time. <laughs> so I think that's why the topic of being discouraged has come up. I did an AMA recently on Instagram. I hadn't done one in a while, so I was like, ask me anything. And I had a few people ask me if I've ever been discouraged, and I was like, oh my gosh, <laughs> now is the time to talk about it. But before I get into that, I started getting some more pins, I started doing a few more trades, and that has been super fun for me. So I wanted to show you some stuff. I bought some stuff for my friend Jessica at Tiny Deer Studio slash um, the pin department, who I love. All the links will be down below. But I wanted to show you. She sends stuff in a cute little box. I got a lot though, to be fair. She did a collaboration with Lisa Chow, who is um, a Houston artist. Super cute. If you love like really feminine pastels and rainbows and, and kind of abstract stuff, I think you'd really like her work. But they did a collaboration. I can't even deal with this. Okay. So they did three different colorways of this rainbow. So this is very Lisa. Her stuff is so pretty. So I had to get the purpley pink one. And then she had a rainbow one. A rainbow rainbow one. And like look how beautiful these pastels are. And I love the way the metal, it's dyed metal. So these are soft enamel. And then I got all three. I couldn't help it. I wasn't expecting them to be this huge, but they are, they are hefty. Look at that. They've got three posts on the back and they're absolutely beautiful. So I have um, special inserts for my Eda bags and I've got a purple one and a teal one. So I basically needed that for those. I love them. And then um, Jess has, her stuff is so fun. I love it, but she had this whole range. I'm just digging in this box. Ooh, she had this whole range. And again, I don't know if I'm just not paying attention to sizes. I'm just, I just look at it and go, give me that. <laughs> but I knew these would be small, but they're so dainty. Look at these. This whole little range of strawberries, which is my favorite fruit, and oranges, which I love. It reminds me of California. And these beautiful flowers, like... How cute are those? Also, her packaging is gorgeous. Can I just say? Oh, this girl's got it going on. And then she had a new collection. She does a lot of geometric kind of work. And um, I just really liked these. I thought they were really pretty. So I grabbed those as well. Look at that shine. I'm like distracted by the shine on her packaging. It's so pretty. <laughs> um, she offers packaging services with her pens, so I think next time I order from her, I'm gonna have to get the packaging too. <laughs> okay, so that was my box of goodies from Tiny Deer Studio. Um, I did a trade recently with Creative Cats. Let me show you her stuff again. Links below. She wanted to trade and I was like, give me any of your Potter pens, I need them because I love Harry Potter, which I'll talk about later, but I've got a little glow-in-the-dark Loomis. Isn't that pretty? Look how cute that is. And how cute is it that it glows in the dark? I'm excited for that. And Aloha Mora. Isn't that pretty with a little key? I love this. Her little text and, and stuff is so cute. There's a regular Loomis and Knox, which are fun. 
one. And then I like that this one is rainbow middle. Ridiculous. So cute. Have you ever wondered what your boggart would be? Mine would probably be an unending to-do list. <laughs> I would just keep going. And then I would just crumple out of fear. Okay, but those are from Creative Cats. I just thought they were super fun. And that's a good segue into talking about LeakyCon from this year. I was on a panel about mental health and Hogwarts houses. And my friend Danielle, who is a Hufflepuff, and she owns Little Petal. She makes these amazing, like, fandom-based um, wrap dresses. They're really cool. Again, links below. But... Um, she has a fandom and wellness podcast, and she was like, well, let's just talk to some Hogwarts houses and um, get some representation for each house, and I was the Gryffindor, and it was super fun to, to sit and talk on a panel with these amazing women, and they're all um, business owners and creatives, and we just got to talk about what it's like being in our house and stereotypes about it and how we kind of think things and react to stuff. I don't know, it was really cool. But while we were there, I took my little family and we got to hang out at LeakyCon and I got some stuff. This bag is from Little Kiwi Sarah Cosico because I have all of her Potter pens. If you see on my Potter face, pens that I've got. Um, I have everything that she does. They're amazing. But I needed a few more that I didn't have yet. So I got those. Oh, I still have my badges in here. Um, it was so cool because like, um, oh, huh. how fun is that? I love it. Um, but they had Quidditch going and my son, who is about three and a half, he'll be four soon loved watching people play Quidditch. Like, this dude doesn't sit still for anything, and he sat and, like, watched the entire game. He had a team that he was cheering for. He was, like, watching everything. It was so fun. So, um, that was, that was really cute. But I got more of Sarah's pins. Looky here. How great is that rainbow Tonks? I love it. We got Sprout and Flitwick, but this Tonks is just incredible. She turned out so good. Ugh. Ugh. And then the crown jewel. Are you ready for this? Okay. Ah! Look how enormous this Hagrid, like next to my face. <laughs> He's huge. She's got another one too with um, baby Harry that I'm going to have to get. But I love it with little Norbert. It's enormous. It's going to take up like most of my... I can have a board just for her. Little pins. They're so good. Okay. Anyway, I was very excited about that. Also, funny story. Um, so this was my badge, right? And my thing underneath says, Professor Snape gave me a troll in potions. There is this guy. His handle is um, at TX Snape. So he's Texas Snape. This dude is, like, meeting actual Snape. Like, he looks exactly like the descriptions in the book. He is, he's super tall, is very intimidating, never breaks character. And I went to take a picture with him, and then I was just, like, I felt like Neville. I was like, I feel like I'm in school. This guy is super intimidating. And then he asked me some question about, it was like what book Hermione got the um, Polyjuice Potion from. And I was like, oh, you know, and I told him the, you know, the book in the series. I was like, it's Chamber of Secrets. And he was like, not the novels, the textbook. And I was like, I don't know. He got so mad at me. And then he just yelled out, troll. He gave me it because I didn't know it. I really don't. I just read that book too. Anyway, it was like very... It felt like meeting actual Snape, and I was like, oh, the whole time it was uh, stress-inducing, and then I kind of ran away from him quickly. Choco Bean, I have more stuff to show them. Leave it alone. I have a cat down here next to me who is playing with my tote bag. The other people, ah, he's licking me now. I promise he's there. Um, 
And the other shop, I went and looked at like everyone. It was so cool to see like all these people that I knew. But I got some stuff from Juicette. Um, Joyce. Oh, I know her because she is. Uh, I found out about her from Nina from Me So Happy and their friends. And um, Joyce and Van Van had a thing together. And I was going to grab some stuff from Van Van, but I'm sorry, I don't remember your name. I always know everyone from their handles. Um, but there was like, there was a crowd of people and I was like, I'm, I don't want to be a booth blocker. I kind of blocked at Sarah's booth because I was just so excited to finally meet her in person. Um, so I, I skedaddled. But look at these super cute magical creatures. Do you love it? I love the color palette. I think they're super fun. They're just like sweet little chubby babies. I love how simplified she made them. I don't know. They're, I think these are just gorgeous. When I saw her post them, I was like, these are stunning. I need them in my life. So yeah. So I got those. Duh. And then she has this really cute, um, <laughs> the bun who lived, <laughs> which I think is adorable. Um, it's so cute. Uh, it says, Alohair Mora. <laughs> oh, it's so good. And then some stickers. I don't know where, um, Emmett, my, my son, picked out. Uh, she has a super cute Hogwarts crest with the different animals in. And, um, he wanted that one really badly. And he loved it. And he just kind of, um, <laughs> absconded with it. But it's basically, oop, these guys. Look at that little Gryffindor. Um, so, whoop. It's basically these little friends all in one Hogwarts crest. And they're really cute. So that's what I got from LeakyCon. Now, last pin mail that I got, um, which was kind of a bummer because right after I, hey, Turkle Bean, no one's going to believe you're here and they're going to think I'm crazy. Okay. Anyway. Last pin mail, etc. that I got was from Emin Sprout. So I needed her deadhead moth because it's just gorgeous and I love everything she does. Um, but she also has, and I haven't even worn these yet. You guys, you got turkle me. No, you can't have them. I'm going to pick him up in a second so you don't think I'm crazy. But look, look at these little flats. Oh, I love them so much. And then I also got this. It's like this giant grocery tote. It's super big and I love it. Ooh, look at that. But I couldn't not have it. And now Turkle Bean wants it. So two tote bags, a ton of pins, and I was bummed because I forgot that um, the Deadhead Moth was coming because I made a black insert of Halloween pins. So now I'm gonna have to rearrange it a little bit to get that one on there because it would be perfect for this. But that leads me into another segue. Okay, hold on. Let me see if Turks is Ooh, he's in a he's in a mood. He's going after he's going after twist ties. Here. Show everyone how bad you are. <laughs> okay, bye Turks. Get out of here. So, <laughs> eat a bags. Okay, so this is my first one. This is the pink one. This was the very first sample I got, and I didn't even have the inserts yet at that point. They hadn't even been made. So you can see um, inside, the pins go straight through. And I was like, this is not, this is not good, and I can't wait for the inserts. So, this is what the inside of my very first sample looks like. Ooh, I love it. And then, the black one came in. And this has been the huge seller. This is the one that everyone is getting. They are flipping out. <laughs> and I want to show you how cool it is because I've got junk in here. Um, oh, there's my lip gloss. Okay, anyway. You can see that the inside of this, nothing there. You wanna know why? So you can undo this. And then just take everyone out. Ta-da! 
it's perfect. So you can see all these. I've got them um, tagged on Instagram too, I believe. And if you have any questions about makers, let me know in the comments and I will answer them for sure. But actually, I'm going to take this out. Um, I wanted to show you what it looks like with the other inserts. So I have the black one. Um, but look at that. Isn't that cool? I think I'm, I'm like distracted looking at my own bag in the viewfinder. But I think it looks awesome. It really changes the look of the bag, the color that you get. So there's the black one. Purple. Isn't that a pretty purple? I'm excited to put stuff in this one. I think I'm going to do all purple pins in that one because I love a monochromatic look. And teal. I think this one's pretty. I think I'll do rainbow, my pastel rainbow pins on this one. But I wanted to show you, people have been tagging all their pictures and um, showing me videos and I've been sharing as many as I can. So if you want to see on Instagram, I'll actually make a highlighted story of everyone's bag so you can look through and just see how other people have styled them and how they wear them and the pins they put in and stuff like that. I think it's really cool. Um, but that has been something that has truly helped me kind of get out of this funk that I've been in. Um, and I don't know if funk is the right word, but I think I've just been experiencing a lot of overwhelm lately. And um, it felt like I was really busy and doing a lot of work, but nothing was really kind of getting done, if that makes sense. And um, when I step back and look at it from like an Enneagram <laughs> standpoint, that's exactly what I'm a three on the Enneagram. And when they're stressed and stuff, they go to a nine. So nines, um, like threes are the achievers, we're busy, we wanna do stuff, we want everything to look nice and taken care of and be capable and all that kind of stuff. And um, nines want um, like kind of everyone else to be happy. If I go to a stress nine, then I just don't do anything. <laughs> You know, so it was just seemed like a lot of busy work and, and not a lot was getting done. So I was definitely discouraged for a good portion, basically all summer. And there was a point where I was like, well, what is even the point of all of this? And I think everyone goes through that no matter where you are in your journey, you know. So I wanted people to know that. I mean, I even got to the point I was so flustered. That, and this is embarrassing and insane that I'm sharing this on YouTube, but I feel like it's a lesson that it's a hard lesson that I learned and other people can learn from it. But I forgot to apply to my biggest show of the year. Just forgot to apply. The applications were open all summer. And I was like, oh, I'll do that next week. Oh, I'll do that next week. Oh, I need to wait for this stuff. Oh, I have to photograph this thing. And I just kept putting it off and putting it off. And then I saw they posted application works were closed. And I had a little bit of a panic attack. And by little bit, I mean definitely a panic attack. And, um, you know, I talked to my husband, who is my Ravenclaw. He is my steady um analytical brain and he was like look he's like because this is the show that I do every well for the last few years it's a huge chunk of my income um but it also takes all like Christmas season long it like runs from um Black Friday to Christmas Eve basically and it's a lot of work and he's like look this year now for the holidays we can go somewhere you know you don't have to worry about it every day and we will figure out a way to make up that income another way. And the more I thought about it, kind of the happier I was that I did that. I was like, I am learning from this experience. I cannot keep operating the way that I have been. And so that helped me kind of change my systems, change the way I do my schedules, how I look at um, my time management and, um, like list making and stuff like that. So I've been making some changes for how I manage my time and um, it's been really nice. So when I looked at it, I looked at my priorities and really stepped back and kind of took a day 
to like not really do anything, you know, related to work. And that was really, really good for me. So I got some clarity on kind of what I need to prioritize. And I really recommend that if you're feeling discouraged, if you're feeling like, what is even the point of my business anymore? Um, take some time off. Don't, you know, listen to music, go for a walk, go for a drive. And that's really hard for me as someone who has to be productive, you know, like, oh, I have to be doing something always. And, but taking that time and really thinking about like what you really want, you know, like, what is it that you want? What do you want to do for people? What do you want to make for yourself? What kind of life do you want to have? Like, what are your big goals? And for me, a lot of that is more kind of concentrating on Pins 101 and creating more content to help people as they get started and as they grow in their businesses because that brings me a lot of joy. And um, and I also got back to like designing some brand new pins from start to finish. And now I'm working on Flare Fest, which is September 7th um, on Saturday from 11 to 4 at Gloria Collective. I will be there with um, six other vendors. It's my fourth year putting it on and it's super fun. I love seeing the super cute pin community of Austin come together. And yeah, so I'm, I was just, I just started focusing on the things that really did bring me joy, but also bring in money <laughs> for the business because that's truly, you know, I can't run my business on, you know, petting cats because that brings me a lot of joy, but it doesn't necessarily pay the bills. <laughs> so finding that balance between, you know, what you can do to make money, what you can do to make money in the background while you're building other things, stuff like that. So I feel like I'm over this hump. I'm excited to get into the fall and into the holiday season and then especially get into the beginning of next year. So like we think about this as pin makers, we have to think so far ahead because we have to order everything ahead of time. So it seems like the holidays kind of creep up and that stress creeps up throughout the year. Um, so I think letting go of that and knowing that everything's gonna happen and it's time and, and reevaluating kind of how I do my schedules and stuff. And that's really helped. So I don't know. I've just kind of been rambling for the last, what is it? Ooh, it says it's been 30 minutes. We're going to trim that down. Hopefully it will not be around 30 minutes <laughs> when you're seeing this. But, um, but yeah, I don't know. It's been fun to get back in front of the camera for a minute and I am going to have more videos coming soon so that's really exciting and um, if you want to check out my other pin mail videos you can um, I'll link in the description below so you can see some other stuff that's in my collection and I'll also link to the Eda bags because um, they are here and I love them and I'm happy you love them. And I'll do a more in-depth video just about those, showing all the features and stuff um, soon. And yeah, here, Turks, come say bye. Turkle Bean says bye. He's purring. Oh, um, <laughs> be sure to like and subscribe. You can follow me on Instagram. Uh, I'm on there all of the time. Oh, don't go over there, Turks. Um, if you want to kind of keep up with me and what's going on. And yeah. I will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. Bye.